Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 32. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so next up we are on the Circuit de Spa Franc or Champ. Uh, we're going to be going uh, earning about 48,000 credits for this one. Um, awesome, let's go. This is going to be quite a long race as well because the last tracks have all been about two and a half, three miles. Um, I know Daytona was about 3.5 and that track has like two or three main straights. This track only has one, and it's not that long. Um, obviously, the longest... 21.76 miles is the longest race we're going to do today. Um, we're going against Megan Trophy, so that's the kind of car I was expecting was a Megan Trophy. Not the rally cars. So we got two rally... Three, four rally cars up in the top four positions. We got a S2000 Le Mans, a couple more rally cars, more rally cars, and a Sylvia. Right, welcome to Spa. Starting in 14th position and instantly off of the start line overtaking another car. Perfect. Overtaking Subaru and now an S2000. I think this next one is the Le Mans S2000. Yeah, and it doesn't look too... Oh, I'm very sorry. It doesn't look too different. Alright, let's see our top speed. 175. We're getting the overtakes like crazy here. There's the McGann Trophy. Very nice car up ahead. I do like the look of the trophy cars that uh, Renault Sport do. To be fair, any of the cars that Renault Sport do are very nice. Oh. Renault really does know how to make sporty cars. Let's play that way. I still don't get why we're doing four laps around the Ascari track. We might as well just do five. Look at that. Oh, here's the Sylvia. Already in fifth position and we're not even... Well, we're about two-thirds of the way into the track now. Perfect. Make sure we're slowing down for that corner. We've gone too wide again. And sliding past the Mitsubishi. Not quite. Surprisingly, the Mitsubishi has more pulling power than we do. Right, we have a Mitsubishi right on our tail. They're very, very close. A bit close for comfort, I would say. Nice. I really want to see more uh, races around Suzuka in International A. I really do. Because we haven't had enough. We've had a lot of races around... Um, track was it? 
Brands Hatch. We've had a lot around Brands Hatch. But not a lot to do with Suzuka, unfortunately. Right, I see the three cars up ahead. They aren't too far away. They are within reach. Perfect. So we got to regain about two seconds per lap, um, which should be okay. Two, three seconds per lap. I think about three more. Well, that didn't go well. Perfect. Right, three more laps left to go. The other cars are already at the hairpin turn now. That was very good getting around there. Awesome. Might struggle on this race. We have a car that we are catching up with. Come on, come on, come on. that corner up completely but managing to use the Subaru to get some extra speed on this straight the fact is going off the track bed doesn't penalize you or in any game as we found out with the uh, historic race car championship that was kind of funny. Just jumping straight across the track. Complete disregard for corners. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. have two laps to catch up. Why do they get so much distance? They're rally cars. They can't physically go more than like 120 miles an hour. The gearing is designed that way. Come on, come on, come on. 
Perfect. Here we go. Oh, contact. Oh, this is a final car. I didn't even notice we were catching up. It didn't click until just then. See how slow my brain's working with this heat today. Still can't stay on the track at that corner though. There are cars trying to crash into me and destroy my race. I greatly appreciate it. Perfect. Come on, come on. Come on, G37, don't let me down. We have a lot of heat at the front tyres, though, for some reason. I really hope it's not front-wheel drive, because if it is, that's the weirdest car ever. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, very. We've messed up that corner on every single lap. Kind of awkward. The other car behind also went off the track. That's interesting. But there we go. 12 minutes and 28 seconds. That was a long race. That was a very long race. Average speed was about 100 miles an hour throughout it all. Um, which is pretty cool. Look at that car. That looks insane. Our car looks so good compared to the rest of them. And it's so powerful off the line. Here we go, though. 48,000 credits. Three stars. We're now moving on to the Ascari track next. Which is a very nice track. I do like Ascari. I've sort of improved on it and liked it a lot more. It obviously looked very complex, but it's actually a fairly decent track. Um, but I do worry that this... Um, the power in this car might be a little bit too much for it because the last time we drove it we were in quite uh, mellowed out chill cars 
This time it's going to be fast. Right, let's have a look. Rally cars. Two rally cars up in front, and then the Vauxhall Touring car is in third. That's the one I'm worried about, because I know that's going to make its way to the top position. But yeah, let's do this. Here we go. We have the G37 now. Let's do this. Oh! Oh, well, that's great. Managed to stay alive during that black screen. It is kind of confusing why that happens. I think it is a uh, day one bug. Um, which I presume Polyphony patched out, but obviously I am running the day one version of the game. Um, but I have a feeling to uh, finish the game the way I want to. Uh, by completing the Red Bull challenge. I think I need to actually update the game. I am excited though for this series because this is going to be the longest series that we've done on the channel before. It's going to be longer than uh, Car Mechanic especially. That has around about 45 videos. This is going to go well above that. Perfect. Let's get through. Nice. We're doing very well today. That corner is so dangerous. It's such a blind corner there. Nobody saw that. Perfect. There we go, 7.6 seconds behind. Alright, come on, let's get past the RX-7. Meow. Perfect. This is looking very good. Next episode is going to be long as hell because that is all the uh, 15 minute races. So that's going to be like a 50 minute episode. But there's uh, not enough races to actually split it into two videos. Um, so it is just going to be a long ass race. Three long ass races actually. Right, squeeze past you. Nice. Oh, not great. Awesome. Get out of my way, Subaru. You're in the wrong place. This is a road race, not a dirt race. Get back in your box. Here we go. 
Catching up with the Mitsubishi now. Perfect. Come on. Probably should have shifted down while we were going around that corner. Not too much of a problem for us though. Come on, come on. Get past the Vauxhall. He was very close to my blind spot there. Go, 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 go. That is the world's worst blind corner. Do you know, one thing I really want to see, right, uh, alongside having all of the tracks that were in this game, the Ascari track, Matterhorn, Eager Norwand, all the originals, and the big tracks, I want to see loads of the tracks like Dragon Trail. I want to see that come back. I want to see the Kyoto Driving School. Um... There are loads of tracks in GT Sport I want to see come back. Um, in fact, I want all the tracks in GT Sport to be in there because they are very good tracks uh, in GT7. Um, but the biggest feature I want to see in um, GT7, I want to see Track Mastery come back as like a special thing. So we have the driving licenses. I want it. My ideal Gran Turismo would have it, the game is structured exactly the same as this. Um, you have maybe, instead of six series, you have eight. Um, about maybe 2,000 stars. If there was 2,000 stars, that would be epic because there'd be so much content to make out of that. Um, but then also there's an entire separate mode of mission races, which are cool little fun things. So there's none of the... Um, so the mission races aren't in each category. They are all um, just one big thing. And you go through like 10 stages of mission races. Um, those could be like super long endurance races or just similar to GT Sport. Um, but then we have... Uh, the driving school is at the end of each of the series, like it is now, the licenses, same structure. Maybe a couple more, maybe have 10 license events. Um, but then track mastery, an entire series, you can go through track mastery from the start. Doesn't matter where or when you play it, you can just play track mastery, go through all of it as it is now exactly the same because track mastery at the moment i'm finding so much fun completing because it teaches you about the tracks there's so much to learn and it's something i want to see in gt7 and there we go across the finish line eight minutes 51.9 a very good time there for the g37 oh Finally, it's done. That's our first championship done of the International A. We're going to take our 48,000 credits. It's not 48, it's 43. I'm sad. Polyphony, you've done me dirty there. But there we go, that's that done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, 
and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Oh.